Cool. All right. Good luck. <laughs> All right. So we've got grand finals right now. Uh, San and KR from the loser side making a repeat from uh, the winner's finals game. So KR is starting his dark pit this time. Uh, in his first set, he started with Mario, so. I say it's the right choice. His dark pit was doing much better than his Mario. Uh, and STX started with Bayo. He went Bayo game three. Just kind of like switching characters just to, just because they had a lead, why not try something different? So it was interesting to kind of see him, you know, practice his Bayo a bit more in grand finals since, you know, they have a, not only, you know, they have the set lead this time because of being winners. So, let's kind of see if this Bayo uh, is able to hold them for three games if he uh, chooses to stay Bayo for, three, uh, for this entire set. We'll see. So, oh, ooh, that's that uh, really strong side view from Dark Pit coming in. Almost taking out Bayonetta just from right there. Oh, and that's something nice down there from Fox, uh, on Fox. And sniping him before he uh, was able to grab the ledge. Unfortunately, uh, Sansak is next to go. But it does, oh, oh. So Red Team's doing a lot better than last time. Thanks to KR holding his stocks and uh, Son able to get two clean co uh, KOs on both uh, teammates. So they'll probably want to try and, uh, they, they, they've had a lot of adaptation. Probably like, you know, going through the losers, they able to kind of like, Let's see what we can do in these loser sets and kind of like uh, adapt for them, win for them, so that when we get to grand finals, we're prepared for the final set. And it seems that's working. Dark Pit loses his first stock. And it's the final person to lose his first stock. Uh, smart from San holding his jump because he was getting, you know, tossed off stage a bunch by Bayo and uh, Dark Pit also saving his teammate. And that nice back throw into a back air from uh, Ike. Really great uh, team synergy going on those last, like, 30 seconds. That was amazing. And, ooh, unfortunately, uh, SDing from uh, San, but is able to take down someone with him. So I guess the trade you could say is worth in that point. Since while well, he loses the stock, so does the blue team. That might have also been intentional, actually, now that I think about it. Might have reeled back just enough. Hmm. So let's see. So we're team holding, uh, we're team holding the, uh, the lead this time. A reversal from the winner's final set. I don't know if they held the lead in any of those games. Ooh, nice team Galapo from the blue team. Take advantage of that moving platform. So, now it's a bit closer to even. Uh, and red team is going to want to take out someone as soon as possible, but it doesn't want to get that slot taken. Unfortunately, there goes Ike. But, oh, it's Ivy. Uh, KR can do this. If you're able to kind of like get a... Uh, a cheesy like side B in on Fox, who's at high percent and just kind of like cold his own and one for one against Bayo. It's a workout. But first, he's got to get back to stage, and that's not getting back to stage. And that is game one for STX and iModders. STX is Bayo really, uh, really putting in at work. Kind of showing it's got a skill level akin to his Mewtwo. So it's kind of so we'll start to see what uh, game two, what stage will be picked for that one. Unfortunately, uh, uh, Smash will almost worked out. I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to run it back unless it was banned by a uh, blue team. Mm. Oh, yep, and run it back to Smashville. For game two. No character switches. Same matchup. See how this goes. The team will have to find out what to do differently. Which, no, honestly, their strategy worked out first time. They just unfortunately didn't get the first kills uh, when it came to our final stock situation. So, I think with uh, 
just playing a little bit better blue team this time, they should be able to do it. And that's what they want. They have two sets to get through, so it's going to be a long hill to, uh, hill to climb. Looks like keeping it even this time. Oh, ooh, SCX uh, going really high to take out Ike Sock, which is really important. Draxel. Ike being the powerhouse he is, makes it very easy for him to take Sock, especially when uh, when KR kind of like throws character at him. So that's definitely good to get the powerhouse out of the way. So now the Red's got to find a way to claw his back. Take off someone's Sock quickly without losing their own. Oh, mmm, that's... Oh, wow, I didn't even realize that SX was on his final sock. What happened? Jesus. So, yeah, unfortunate SD from there right there, but I didn't see how he lost his first sock. Might be. I had to assume it was also an SD of some sort. And, ooh. Okay, so Red Team now has a great lead. Unbeknownst to me. And ooh, nice up air taking out Dark Fist Suck. So Blue Team really needs to kind of hold it together. You need to not get too uh, too cocky, I guess. Or not, not cocky. That's not the word. Uh, they need to be very, very careful. Ooh, oh my. They just reversed it. So now Blue Team has to lead again. All right. So, so even if uh, SCX loses Final Suck here, he can just... Uh, Take him out of stock and be in a pretty solid position. Solid enough to take this back. And as we saw last game, that's that's pretty possible. I would not be surprised to see kind of blue team uh, even after those uh, two socks from SCX gone quickly. Uh, make it back. And ooh, there goes uh, SCX's final stock. Going to take it from my modders. Now an even stock game uh, with SCX on fresh percent. Got to be quick on taking out these last two Red Sox. But again, a lot of percent of Red Team. Red Team's definitely, both the Red Team's players are in kill percent, while only one of uh, Blue Team's is. And there, there's the kill on the Red Team that's going to put this uh, seemingly bad game into a really good one for Blue Team, and they're going to take that last so I can make it on the game two in this first ever grand finals. Very clean play from Blue. Played very carefully in that last game uh, after the stock losses from uh, SCX. Not letting themselves kind of get caught up in the, or tilted from that. Holding their own. And switching, and we're going to see uh, a character switch from modders as well. I guess since, you know, might as well do the same thing as SCX did. And just kind of like switch to a different character just for some variety. Something new. Well, they had the lead. And then just switch back to Fox if need be. And we see KR also switching off of Dark Pit into Diddy Kong. Very interesting choice. Diddy Kong's a great character, singles and doubles, so. Let's see how his uh, his own Diddy Kong, you know, kind of plays compared to, I guess, uh, the Cloud Switch from Otters. XS is a uh, secondary bail. Uh, ooh, that's not a good start. <laughs> Probably an accident. Maybe thought he was on the left side, but shouldn't matter too much in the long run. Let's see. So, D Kong not looking very healthy right now. Definitely very prone to kind of like getting stalked again at any moment. Definitely kind of like bringing the. And the question whether or not this was a good switch for uh, KR. Offstage, easy Edgar for them. Ooh. Good trade. SCX nowhere near kill percent for that to kill. And able to get the stock so now they got the stock lead. Mm. 
when that wish time comes out. Haven't seen much wish time from SCX, but unfortunately gets dash attacked from Sans Ike while uh, trying to prepare an attack to hit that Diddy Kong with. Ooh, another wish time comes out. We didn't see any wish times come out in the last game, I think. We saw one in the first game, that's about it. So, now's a good time to use wish times, I guess, since they might not have uh, been inspected much in the last games. Yeah, we're seeing them now. A lot of wish times coming out. Unfortunately, if he does it too much, he's going to sail it. Ooh, that bat within coming in clutch to help SCX stay on stage. F smash coming out, taking the uh, Bale's first stock. Her second stock, but my apologies. Putting her on her last stock. Ooh, trying to go high to get rid of uh, Ike stock. Oh, unfortunately, takes out teammate with the falling down air. Definitely not a good, uh, not a good spot to see. Dash hat coming out. Gets clawed off stage, doesn't kill. Puts him in an edgeguard situation and does take Cloud Stock. So, red team with the single stock lead, albeit with Sana high percent. It looks like the Diddy Kong switch is working out pretty well for red team overall. As well as the stage choice. Going from Smash Little somewhere else might have also been a nice uh, pick. Ooh, up Smash going to take out Ike. Uh, he's on his uh, last stock. They're all on their last stock, but red has the percent lead. Trying to see a uh, blue team very uh, playing very slowly now. Don't want to get their last stocks taken out. This will make a very hard uh, comeback and obviously make this a uh, game four should they lose. And oh, there goes Bale's last sock. And there goes Cloud. Putting up Ezra's situation. Uh, nice recovery. Not getting caught by the eruption. Very smart. But will it be enough? To keep it clear on the ledge, which is very important. It's gonna make it, uh, you know, if he can't get on stage and you know do damage done, then he's just gonna get got like that. And it is now game four. Sonic Carrier finally take their first game against STX and iModders. They just need to take two more, and they'll be able to make this a uh, bracket reset and hopefully get another shot of uh, kind of taking the tournament. I'm wondering if uh, Modest is going to stay Cloud or go back to Fox, which was working before. Looks like they're all going to stay characters and make it to Battlefield. Good choice for Bayo and uh, Cloud, of course. Hopefully they're able, uh, able to, or for hopefully for them, they're able to overcome this uh, Diddy Kong switch, and hopefully for the red team, they're able to kind of like carry his momentum into the grand finals reset. So it's going vain. Uh, this game going pretty, uh, pretty uh, even to his first set, which his first game. Not too much going on. Trying to best get as much percent on the other team as possible. Trying to get that coveted first stock. And uh, first stock goes to uh, Cloud. 
Her first stock loss, and then uh, Diddy Kong called shortly after. It was a very close game. Very tense. Obviously, Blue is trying to end this as soon as possible. Red team knows that, like, one mistake could seal them this set. They're, in a not, they're not in a position to make mistakes. And that wish time coming out takes off Ike Stock, and Bayonetta is holding on to all three of her stocks still. They want to get as much damage, as much chip damage on the red team as they can before uh, someone loses their next stock on blue team. That's going to make the difference. Ooh, unfortunately, uh, might have been tried to run back and do an up smash, but unfortunately dash attack instead. That would have taken Bayonetta's stock, most likely. And there goes Bale stock. Ike is not too much percent on him. Uh, most percent has been going on Cloud and Diddy Kong. And that, ooh, side B. Uh, good, good option to kind of get back on stage. But unfortunately, he's too far away from the ledge to make it back. Knocked off by uh, Diddy Kong, so. Lucy needs to play a little, a little bit more uh, carefully. But red team is at very high percent for both of them. So one good hit is going to take away both their stocks. And just like that, or a gimp like that, that's going to take Diddy Kong's stock. Ah, good good job from SCX, kind of waiting, uh, baiting out uh, Ike's counter or option to edge guard him, allowing him to get back on stage safely, which is very important. Oh, and there goes uh, Ike Stock. Man, and once again, last person loser uh, stock. Holding on to it. Needs to get that chip damage. This game going in anyone's favor. This could very easily become a game five set. Her team just kind of swatting at Blue Team, where everyone to get back on stage and deal something, uh, deal with them. Not trying to rush forward and kind of get punished for doing so. Ooh, good job, uh, Diddy Kong, saving Ike from a uh, high percent potential uh, bail combo. Ooh, good four throw conversion into Cloud. Cloud's unfortunately at a high percent, as is Bale. Although Cloud's on his last like, ooh, that's going to be really good. That's 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 important. That that might be the game winner right there for Blue Team. Yeah, Bale still got her full stock with full uh, no percent on it. Cloud's a high percent, but now it's a two v one, which is immaculate. Who doesn't want to hear your team name though? SCX just kind of taunting him to bait him to run forward. Almost didn't force mass, but uh, saw a good job of kind of like expecting that shielding. Oh, geez. So SCX sitting taunting on Paul for just like letting his teammate die. We hope that doesn't cost him this game. That'd be unfortunate. Ooh. God damn. Oh, there's that wish time. That's that's that could be a game winner right there. Yep, yep. Takes him up to the ceiling. Ah. Ike drops out. Very good. Ooh. That meaty four there. I can be really uh Really unfortunate to play with at this percent. Any good hit is gonna take Bale stock. And she needs to be very careful of um any kind of like read that song goes, because that's gonna be death if he reads it wrong like that, and that's gonna be a game five. Song KR just inching ever closer, ever so closer to getting this like uh, bracket reset. So Modder's going back to his tried and true Fox, his main. SDS choosing to stay Bayo. I wonder if he feels more confident as Bayo in doubles or just, just kind of wants to keep playing her just for fun, just because he likes playing her. So back to Battlefield. And hopefully, uh, yeah, so it looks like, um, it looks like this, this is going to be, uh, this change to Fox is going to be, you know, a, a really big factor in this. That could be a re good reason to have switched off of Cloud is that they aren't you as used to uh, Fox and Doubles anymore. So even though they did take two games, now I got to play a Fox who they haven't played for two games. 
This might trip him up. And, oh! That uppy. Song gets at the right spot where he's able to snap to the ledge, but uh, SCX is unfortunately sent down to the depths. Not making it back. Great lead, uh, great early lead for a red team right there. There goes City Kong stock. Making it a closer even game. So we saw SCX obviously take a, a pretty uh, hard. Oh! Ugh. Just as I was talking about SCX SCing in game two, we see another one come up right there. This is not looking. Oh, oh, hmm. Well, it's a stock for stock. This is a very interesting set, I gotta say. Uh, twice has Son taken out someone with his uh, up B spike. That, that, that's actually pretty important, considering they still have the stock lead. It's going to be a fast game, and that's... Yeah, that's really important. I've gotten those two. Now, blue team's got to play extra well. Pick up D-Kong stock or Son stock. Someone stock. You need to get uh, off sooner before they take too much percent. The other team's in a really nice spot. Props to them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Son using the up B, try to couch. Uh, Bayo side B unfortunately catches the teammate's head. Oh, that footstool almost, ooh, that almost took uh, SCX's last sock. Not the way to go if uh, to try and prevent a, a reset grand finals. But, blue team's not in a bad spot anymore. They've got to match mostly even. In fact, slightly in their favor thanks to Ike's high percent. Both red teams at high percent. Oh, that's a nice uppy. Catching both of them, getting a lot of percent on them. There goes Akon Sock. And it looks like uh, he's not going to steal for Mike. He's going to like uh, do this on his own. And oh, 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 there it goes Diddy Kong. That, I guess that's, that's actually pretty smart. Kind of waiting to see what happens there in that situation. Since Bale lost her stock, had to steal for Modders. That's a great time for uh, KR to come back in and kind of like help start helping uh, San again. Definitely a good idea to just kind of wait on that. That might have been a... That could potentially be a very important, you know, kind of decision. Should uh, Red Team bring this back in? Oh, that DI from Otters. Not going to help him out anytime soon. Was not expecting that back air. Oh, now we got a 1v1. Very good from SCX kind of getting that uh, someone's sock off. And now he's got to deal with a KR Zidicom. Is he able to beat it in a 1v1? This is, this is important. This is uh, this is certainly the kind of position that uh, red team wants to be in. Ooh, that bear combo taking him to his, uh, taking him up to the top. Uh, no KO. Tries edge guard. Oh, there's that witch time, and that is the tournament winner right there. SDX and I modders taking game five in the first set of grand finals, getting them the victory and making them doubles champions for S uh, FCX2. Did, did uh, Sam win the first set? No, 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 this is set one. They won, uh, modders and SDX won set one, and, and they were in winner, so it's over. They win.